Hi, I'm Ryan from Sound Transit. The Downtown Redmond Link Extension Project has put this video together as a replacement to our Spring 2020 open house to show you the latest design images for the Downtown and Southeast Redmond station areas. Before we get to those images, we have a very special message from the City of Redmond. Hello, I'm Angela Burney, Mayor of the City of Redmond. Welcome to the Sound Transit online open house for the Downtown Redmond Link Extension. I want to thank the Redmond community for its long-standing support of bringing light rail to Redmond. We would not be here today without your commitment. This project will add the final two new light rail stations in our community in 2024, one in Southeast Redmond serving Marymore Village and the second in our downtown neighborhood. Redmond began planning for high capacity transit in Overlake, Southeast Redmond and downtown Redmond in the 1990s. Over the years, we have worked hard to bring light rail to Redmond by making strategic property purchases, adopting regulations to facilitate the extension of light rail, adopting supportive land use plans, supporting sound transit ballot measures, and investing local resources to leverage sound transit investments in Redmond. Light rail will connect Redmond to the region and will enjoy a guaranteed travel time of 15 minutes to downtown Bellevue and 45 minutes to downtown Seattle. I want to thank our partners at Sound Transit, King County, and the Washington State Department of Transportation for working diligently together to keep this project on an accelerated timeline, even through the current challenges we are facing as a region. I look forward to the day when we can all be together again, when we can enjoy the benefits of light rail in our community. I hope you and your family are staying healthy. Be well. Thank you, Mayor. The East Link Extension Project has been hard at work to be ready to open by 2023. In Redmond, the Overlake Village Station will serve a quickly developing mixed-use neighborhood with easy access to the SR520 Trail. And the Redmond Technology Station is a transit hub serving the center of the Microsoft campus. Construction of the Downtown Redmond Link Extension Project will be seen along SR520 starting this year. Station area construction, including a 1400 stall parking garage in Southeast Redmond, will be heaviest in 2022. In addition to the stations, the project will create connections between the East Lake Sammamish Trail and the Redmond Central Connector Trail, as well as create a new pedestrian bicycle connection between our station and Marymore Park. Now for the information you've been waiting for. Supriya Kelkar with our project design team has the latest design images for the downtown and Southeast Redmond station areas. Thank you, Ryan. And hello everyone. I'm Supriya Kelkar with Sound Transit. I'm the corridor design manager and principal architect for the Redmond Link Extension. And today I'm gonna walk you through the station designs. So let's get started. This slide shows the site plan for the Downtown Redmond Station. The Downtown Redmond Station is located between Cleveland Street to the north and Northeast 76th Street to the south. It is an elevated station which has two entrance lobbies located on either side of 166th Avenue Northeast. Each entrance lobby or headhouse has an escalator an elevator and a stair that takes patrons up to the elevated station. The Redmond Central Connector Trail is located to the north of the station and there are connections that bring people back into the station plazas. There are also bus patron drop-off and bus unload zones along Cleveland Street as well as Northeast 76th Street. This is a view of the West Head House or the West Lobby from Northeast 76th Street. This is an open light filled space that connects you to the elevated station, which is also seen in this view. This view shows the entrance plaza to the East Head House. This is similar to the West Head House and is an open light filled space and you can see the elevated platform above. 
This slide is showing the night view of the elevated station. You can also see the east and west headhouses as well as the Redmond Connector Trail in the foreground. Here is another night view of the plaza in front of the West Head House. You can see steps and a ramp that connect you to the Redmond Central Connector Trail on your left. There are seat walls and landscaping that lead you to the entrance lobby. The downtown station is the last station on the East Corridor Line and has space to allow trains to be staged before they start revenue service. This is called the tail tracks. The structure you see in the foreground is made up of curved metal panels and is added to highlight the start or the end of the east quarter line and also to serve as a wayfinding element in the community. This slide shows the site plan for the Southeast Redmond Station area. The Southeast Redmond Station is located between SR520 to the north, Northeast 70th Street to the south, Marymore Park to the west, and the East Lake Sammamish Trail to the east. The station itself is an at-grade center platform station with an entry and exit on the east side. It is connected to a 1400 stall parking garage, which has a bus program on the first level. This slide shows you a view of the plaza that connects you to the station entry. There is a station canopy and a ticket vending machine that you see in the foreground. You can also see the station canopy in the background. This view shows the east corner of the garage which is marked by a glazed stair tower. This is a six-story garage with the first level dedicated to the bus program. A cycle track along Northeast 70th Street can be also seen in the foreground. Timeless and durable materials like concrete, glass, and metal panels in varying colors and textures are used for the garage screening. This view shows the access from the cycle track into the garage. Inside, you can see bike lockers where patrons can safely park their bikes. This is a night view looking east towards the garage lobby. The garage lobby has stairs and elevators that connect you to the station plaza and the bus loop. Another set of stairs and elevators connects you directly from the garage to the station platform. The City of Redmond Design Review Board has approved the design for both stations. And that is the overall summary for the both station designs. With that, I will hand it back to Ryan. Thank you, Sapria. I want to end this video on a couple notes. First, once our service begins in 2024, the hours of operations will be from 5 in the morning till 1 in the morning and we'll do maintenance overnight. Trains during peak commute hours will run every six minutes. It will take you 15 minutes to get from downtown Redmond to downtown Bellevue and 45 minutes to get from downtown Redmond to downtown Seattle. Questions and concerns about construction, you can find out the latest by subscribing on our website at soundtransit.org or give us a call on our 24-hour construction hotline at 1-888-298-2395. Any question about projects happening in Redmond, send us an email at redmondlink at soundtransit.org. Or just head to our website at soundtransit.org backslash Redmond Link. Thank you for watching.